welcome, folks, one and all, to another Let's Play, and probably a pretty short one, made by Squaresoft and Dream Factory, I believe in quite a late year, actually. Also, I really do not want to be doing this cutscene, so let's skip it. Oh, uh, guys, God bless the ring! Now, this is a Squaresoft fighting game, and as far as I can imagine, I think it's the first one they made. Dissidio is a much, much later, because this was on the PlayStation. Now, this game has a lot of options. There is God Bless the Ring Urgeist, which is the arcade mode that I'm going to be showing you. There are also mini-games, because apparently this game wasn't big enough with the arcade mode for mini-game. To not have mini-games. There's Infinity Battle, which is pretty much your standard endurance game, where you play what fight one opponent after another, so you lose. Battle Runner, which is an extremely obtuse race where you can fight each other and it's all very weird. Battle Beach, which I'm definitely going to be showing you because seeing Battle Beach alone is worth the price of admission. And Battle Panel, which is a strange kind of flippy puzzle where you can kill each other. Memory card options. Brand new quest! The Forsaken Dungeon. Not going to be showing you this one in this part, because th the quest is not only a completely different style of game, it's an RPG, an unusual style RPG, it's also not very good. I mean, I never enjoyed it. I always played... Oh god, it's skipping to the main menu. But I've always played Urgeis and Battle Beach, actually. So it's them that I will be showing you. 1997, 1998, and 1999. Urgeis. There's a versus mode, practice, and options, and exit. If you go into the quest mode, it actually won't physically let you leave it. You have to reset the PlayStation. But, let's do some arcade. Every one of these characters has a different reason for going with and trying to find the Urgeis, the legendary sword. I'm going to play the only guy that you should play when there is a ninja as an option in your in the roster. You have to be a ninja. And this is a ninja with amnesia and believes that the Urgeist sword can restore his memory. So let's fight a sumo wrestler with a sword! Yes, I don't understand how they balance the fact that I have a sword and ninja stars. I mean, that's not even vaguely fair. But luckily this guy's a bit easy. Most of them are actually quite easy. The problem with this game is AI is it's a bit throwaway. Excellent indeed! Now you'll notice there's a time limit above my um my health bar. By the way, half the Urgeis is mine. And now what will the ninja do? Screw you guys, I'm moving. And he leaves. And um the time limit is important for something else that I've not told you yet. I'm keeping it secret. This is Joe. Joe was raised by animals and was recruited by people called Red Scorpion to find the Urgeis and all that blah blah blah. She's not shown us what she can do yet. She will. While I cheap her out with that same move, she'll show us eventually. Maybe. Oh, I missed that completely. I fluffed that. Fluffed. She'll stand up. Come on. Show us what you can do. Uh-oh. Oh, and there you go flying. Okay. She can transform. But it doesn't matter because I'm one. She can transform into a small little cheater animal. And she has completely different moves. And now, ninja shall climb the ladder. Yes, for some reason, someone flew a helicopter over here and grabbed us. And that's the end of him. Next we have God Hand, who, much like a ripoff of many other people, has a robotic arm. A robotic arm, which fires guns. Fires guns? Fires bullets. Doesn't matter though, he's not that tough, as you can plainly see. He was wanting to explore the ruins that Urgeis was contained within, and of course the tournament of Urgeis has lured him here. By the way, the, the uh, sumo wrestler, he just wanted the pretty stone because, you know, it's a pretty stone. Yeah, that's my uppercut move. I'm just gonna let him... Oh no, I can't let him do that. I've got to kick his ass. I've got to kick his 
ass as fast as I can. Come on. Get up. Get up here. Get up here. Thank you. I have a time limit here. I've got to stick to it. Come on. Get down here. Get down here. Thank you. You don't, you, you don't know. Thank you. Stop. Hurry up and die. Thank you. 1 minute 32. Now, what do you think we're going to do here? If you thought that door was what we were going to go into, you're completely right. We don't know why we're going into this door, or more importantly, why this door leads to this market square. This is Shuan, a man who, a criminal, I believe, who was killed. The problem is, he drank an elixir when he died that brought him back to life. The problem is, this elixir is slowly making him younger. Younger, I might add, without any stopping. So unless he gets the Urgeis, he will become so young that he will cease to exist. It's lucky that right now he's in that form that's the best at martial arts and pretty much kicking people's ass, eh? This guy is a pain. Mainly because he will do stupid stuff like that. Come on. There we go. Perfected him. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can to show you the secrets. And yes, after doing the shopping, Suzuki leaves. Uh, are we on the one that, uh, we're on the train. Right, I'm going to show you something about the train. Oh, she'll interrupt me. They're starting to get tougher. Yeah, they're starting to get tougher. She might kick my ass. In fact, she will kick my ass. Now, yep, first loss. It happens. Notice how close we start to each other on this map, which is annoying. And she also has a yo-yo. Now, if I pause here, you don't see this in games very much anymore, but the train is still moving, even though we're paused. Luckily, she's just going to stand there and let me throw a ninja star. Oh, oh god, 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 explosive bombs. Only hit her once. Only hit her once. Only hit her once. Only need to hit her once. Thank you. We start so close in this stage as opposed to any other that it actually makes it difficult to fight her because her yo-yo is really, really short range. You avoided all of them. Stop it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Why am I doing this one move? Because it works. The problem is this game has really easy to use moves that are really powerful. So in three minutes, are we? I'm not sure I'll be able to do this. Also, we're just gonna ride this train. <laughs> There's no reason why we won't just ride the train. Now we shall fight Dozer, the Ryu of this uh, this game series. This game series of one game. Why? Because he has a Hadouken, and because he's only in this to fight strong opponents. Luckily, he's not very hard. And once again, we start very close to each other. I'm gonna wait for you. Come on. Ooh, unlucky. Come on. Ninja Star! Ninja! Oh. Yes. That doesn't necessarily work. Ow! Don't worry. He's gone. 3 minute 37. I might be able to do this fast enough. Hope so. If not, I'll have to show you in a cut video. Also, we're in the ruins now. The mystical ruins. There are two more opponents before the, uh, the secret stuff. And again, we start really close to Han here. Han, who is, for some reason, just drawn towards the, the mysterious stuff concerning the, uh, the, uh, ruins. Oh, he fires missiles out of his legs. 
you didn't notice from the introductory cutscene, he fires missiles out of his legs. Alright, we should be able to... No! He beat us. This is annoying. Come on! Come on! Get me in range of my shuriken. There we go! This guy's annoying because he can combo you to death. Also, also, with no screen saver. Ignore that. His missiles cancel out my ninja stars. Luckily, his stupidity cancels out the advantage he had. And that's the end of Paul. The next person I shall be fighting is Suzuki, who normally is the final person before the main opponent, the main boss. But if I do this, if I've done this fast enough, there will be two more opponents. And this scene, oh look at that gate behind me. Isn't that an unusual looking gate? That is unusual, isn't it? I wonder what could be in there. Stop throwing, stop throwing your shurikens at me. That is a good combo. And it will just blatantly make me win. Hopefully it's not five minutes. Because I'm not going to beat Suzuk in ten seconds. Oops. Come on! You are running out of special power. Oh! Come on! Yeah! Now, will it let me in? Will it let me in? The answer is... Yes! Ah! <laughs> you see that weird sort of door we're going into? Oh, no, wrong way! Now, what's our next opponent, I might ask? Is it Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII? Yes, it is! What, I hear you say? There's Final Fantasy opponents in here? Yes, actually. You can both select and fight against Final Fantasy VII people. Thanks for the Omni Slash there, Cloud. You can fight at the start of the game. There is Cloud. There is Tifa. And there is Sephiroth. And you can only fight them in arcade mode if you are fast enough. And they are not easy. As you can see by the fact that Cloud is kicking my ass. And we play have a very bad rendition of the Final Fantasy VII battle theme here. The blue, by the way, indicates that they have their back to me and thus could never block even if they wanted to. Oh, fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Cloud! Ow! 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 I know you have a sword. You're not allowed to use it. It's cheating! Yeah, I'm Ninja Stars! We're going down a very slow elevator there. Oh yeah. Suzuki's so like, yeah, I took totally one. And then we follow the elevator down to fight Tifa. On a Mako reactor. With the Final Fantasy music in the background. Tifa fires fireballs. They cancel out my ninja stars. Fortunately. Fortunately, I'm a ninja. And therefore... Ninjas win. See, they would have been able to kill Sephiroth so much faster had they have had a ninja instead of Yuffie. Oh well. Better get this over with. There's only one more real fight after this. 
And that one fight isn't hard. You can die. When I hold down the uh, circle button, my shuriken's home on you. Now that I've left this strange place with a bad backdrop, I will go this way. And we will fight the final encounter, who isn't a character from Final Fantasy VII, but is another of Red XIII's race. Django, I think his name is. And he's very hard. Unlike the others, when he gets up, he does a move that hurts really badly. Luckily, he could pretty much be cheaped out using that move. And that's how you win. This guy's tricky if you're not being Suzuki, I feel. Mainly because Suzuki is pretty... Ow! Also, don't ask me where we are. We're in some place. Also, get away from him. Okay, you let me throw my shurikens at you. That was dumb. I win! 7 minutes, 19 seconds. And when I win... A weird sound happens and he staggers away. To reveal the fight that happens during the credits. Oh dear god, he's so big and huge! Doesn't matter if you win this one, because you've already won the game. <laughs> so, that was the arcade mode of Ergeis. Glad you enjoyed it. Well, hopefully you did. With those shurikens in you. Yeah, his, um, his shots cancel mine. Ow. I'm not getting back up. He's won. So, that was the arcade mode of Urgeis. It doesn't matter if this guy kicked my ass, I still get the Urgeis sword. And with the Urgeis sword comes my fantastic ending as Suzuki. Or Suzuke. I think it's Suzuke. Not that fantastical. Ninja names. Special thanks to those guys. Sichi Ishii. That's the last that's the last credit, by the way. Hurrah! And our ending! There's a moon. And a stereotypical house where a ninja might live. And lots of stills of it. We get it, stills. And we're inside. You know, I guess Suzuki got his memory back? I hope. And so he's checking the, um... You know, his sword. Make sure it's still in good working order. Which it is, because he's a ninja! <laughs> yeah, seems pretty good to me. I'll put it down with this legendary sword of legend. And leave! You know, just so someone could nick it. Yeah, just so someone could steal it. And there's the producer, and the executive producer, and the supervisors. And that's the arcade mode. Yeah, pretty easy. Final Fantasy VII staff, do you see that? Five of them. Do they get people exclusively in from the Final Fantasy VII staff to uh, make sure the Final Fantasy VII characters were okay? They might have done so. Right. Yeah, just just checking a few rules. Vincent Valentine, Sephiroth, Tifa, Yuffie, yeah, there's also them. Totally gave it away. Super players! Al Atelier Peach, Robot Communication Incorporated? Oh, guys, world champion. <laughs> they had a world tournament of this? Okay! Fair enough! You have your world tournament. Huh? How old was I from then? Ah, uh, too young to have known. Got this game discounted all the years ago. Ooh, Square Electronic Arts President. 
You never see this on any compilations of uh, Squaresoft games, do you? You never see any Squaresoft compilation games, actually. It's a good point. Oh! Get to put my, uh... My name in. With gunshots. Kick. Am I top? I better be top. I am totally first in score and time. Oh yeah. Thank you. So that was the arcade mode of Urgeist. But I'm not yet done. There are still a few more things I wish to show you. So, I'll be back in a moment.